we're working 14 to 21 days in a row, um, 12 hour shifts, so it's it's really hard. I, I Just off the overnight home. shift, nurse Khadija Lyons talked to us from a New York City hotel room. She left her home in Atlanta to work at a hospital in the COVID epicenter. People are lined up outside like, can you just tell my husband I said hi, He's I don't know what floor he's on, this is a picture of him, this is his last name, can you look him up? I'll be out here at 7 a.m. when you get off if you get to talk to him. Katie Vigo works in a critical care unit in L.A. How tired are you when you finish a shift? I've been tired for a long time <laughs> as a nurse. <laughs> um, but my situation is I have three young children who are now home from school and now out of daycare. And so not only am I frantically bringing my nursing practice up to speed to adapt to what COVID-19 means in my professional life, but I am trying to figure out how to homeschool my kids. John Mall is also a nurse in LA. A lot of people's hope is being taken away from them. And so when you take that away from people, it's like, man, what's left? Um, but us as nurses, we're supposed to give that to people. If we're not taking bathroom breaks, if we're not eating, it's gonna be very difficult for us to take care of other people. John, I really hear it in your voice. Um, this is rough. This is a struggle. Yeah, it has been. Um, it's been life changing. They are three of 1,200 nurses surveyed from 50 states in the last two weeks. These people are dealing with so much anxiety, depression, physical exhaustion, mental exhaustion. You know, if you think this isn't going to break people, you're kidding yourself. Carol Lunsford, so, the founder you know, of Hollow Blue, an organization that supports nurses and a nurse herself, launched the survey. 82% of the nurses feel their institution is not prepared for COVID-19. 94% said they are concerned about exposing their families to the disease. What if I get them sick? And, you know, honestly, like, what if I die from this? That's the thought that goes in my mind. When you had those conversations with your kids, do they seem scared? <sighs> yeah, they've seen me in tears a lot lately. But I think it's important for children to see that, you know, their parents are human beings and we're processing a lot of emotion. A majority of the nurses surveyed said they are considering leaving their current job or quitting the industry entirely. It's hard to perform um, at a high level with a high, high level of anxiety and high level of stress. Is it sustainable? Can you guys continue to do this for weeks and weeks? I don't think it is. I mean, personally, I can't see it. I mean, nurses were burned out. As much as I want to help, I cannot pour from an empty cup. And I think it's important to realize that. The nurses already dealing with a tough job, now being stretched to their limits. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York.